So some deep inhales and exhales, filling up the chest. Exhale out completely. Just calming the mind. Just feel that breath as it moves in and around you. And just notice if there's anything going on for you physically today. So if there's any injuries or any needles anywhere, just be aware of those. And see if the breath falters at all. We want to try and establish a smooth breath pattern. So as we inhale, if the breath is faltering, just try to smooth it out. Maybe notice where that happens. Deep inhalations. Long, slow exhalations. And then feel the connection through your sitting bones to the mat and grow tall away from that point. So lengthen up through the spine, lengthen up through the back of the neck as well. If you need to, maybe move the head from side to side just to release off neck tension, go for it. As if somebody's pulling you up by an invisible string at the top of the head to really lengthen through that spine. Keep space between the shoulders and the ears. Lovely, a few more rounds of breath like this. And then raise the hands into prayer at heart center. Set yourself an intention of focus for today's practice. Maybe a dedication to somebody or something, someone who needs a bit of extra love and energy sending their way. Maybe pop them, the thought of them in your mind. Dedicate your practice to them today. And then let's open the eyes, reach the hands up. Nice tall stretch. Reach, reach, reach. Bring the left hand down, reach the right arm all the way over. Just stretch through the side body. Push the right sit bone down into the floor. Reach over. Either stay looking forward or you can look up towards your top hand. Good. Inhale, raise up back to centre. And let's go to the other side. So right hand down, left hand comes over. And then you can look up if you want to. Push the left sit bone down into the floor. Nice, inhale, raise the centre, let's twist. So bringing the right hand across onto the left knee, the left hand just goes behind the back to stabilise. And then turn to look over the back shoulder. Grow tall through the spine as you inhale, twist a little deeper as you exhale. Good, inhale, raise back through centre. And then exhale, come over to the other side. Twisting to the other side here. Take a big deep inhale to lengthen up through the spine. And exhale to twist a little bit deeper. We've just got a few more people joining us. <laughs> inhale, raise back to centre, arms up, interlace your fingers, push them up and away. And then as you exhale, bring the arms in front and round the spine, bring the chin into the chest, push the belly button all the way back as if you're hugging a really big tree. So hold it here, push the belly button back. And then release, come to centre. All right, let's roll over the knees into tabletop position. So come onto your hands and knees. Hands are directly under shoulders, knees underneath the hips. So we're making a box shape. Push the floor away with the hands. So we've got a nice, strong position. Untuck the toes. The spine is long. Engage the core here. Tuck the toes under and then just lift that shape. So lift the knees off the floor to hover. Make sure the tummy is engaged so the core is on. Hold here. Good. Take another big deep breath in. And then exhale, push back into your downward facing dog. As you inhale, bring it back to that hovering box shape. So knees back to hover. And then exhale. Push back to downward facing dog. So let's do two more of those. So inhale, bring it over here. Push back, downward facing dog. Last one. Bring it down, hover. Push down through all those finger pads. Exhale, push back, downward facing dog. Let's just stay here for a while, pedaling out the legs. Maybe bending one leg, then the other. Alternating those heels to the mat. Any more different movements that you need to take in down dog? We all have a little 
dance that we do when we get into our first downward facing dog. Just make sure you've got no neck tension so the neck is long, the space between the ears and the shoulders. The head is heavy. Okay, push your chest back towards your thighs and then inhale, draw yourself forward, come to a plank position. Shoulders over fingertips. Exhale, push back, down dog. Inhale, forward to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. See if those heels can go closer to the floor. Come forward to plank. Hold. Now lower, knees, chin and chest. Keep the elbows tight. Push through into your baby back bend. Roll the shoulders back and down. Squeeze the elbows into the sides of the body. Keep the knees on the mat. Sit back and take a child's pose. Forehead comes down to the mat. The arms are extended and reaching forward. Keep the fingers spread out here. Take a big deep breath in. As you exhale, push the mat forward and push your bottom back to really lengthen through that child's pose. Inhale, tabletop position. Let's move up and back into downward facing dog. Take the right leg into the air for a three leg dog. The hips are square, lead with the heel. Big step, bring it between the hands. Good, lower the left knee down onto the floor. Untuck the back toes. Inhale, raise your arms up into low lunge. Anjane Asana, tuck the tailbone, sink into the hips. Breathe in here, good. And exhale, just sink a little bit deeper. Take your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers. Squeeze the shoulder blades, lift the chest, lift the gaze, let the head go back, a bit of a back bend. Breathe into the heart space. Good, and then release your hands down to frame your front foot. Lift your right arm into the sky to take your twisted half lunge. Lift the back knee if you want to make it deeper. <clears throat> and look up towards your top hand. Push the floor away with your left hand. Extend those fingertips up. Lovely, bring your right hand inside your right foot. And then, uh, sorry, left hand inside your left foot, is it? And then bring your other arm up to the sky, ground that back heel down, lift up. Sorry, I got my left and right mixed up. As long as you do both sides, we're fine. <laughs> Good, and release, sit down. Hands, hands from the foot, step back to plank, and then lower through chaturanga or knees, chin, chest. Push through into your back bend. Exhaling into downward facing dog. Good, let's do the other side. Lift the left leg into the air. Big step, bring it forward between the hands. Lower the back knee down. Raise your arms up into your low lunge position. Tuck the tailbone, sink into the hips. Good, let's sink a little deeper. Just make sure this knee stays on the ankle. Take your hands behind and interlace the fingers. Squeeze shoulder blades, lift the chest, lift the gaze. Little bit of a back bend going on. Breathe into that heart space. And then release. Bring the hands down to the floor. Raise the left arm to the sky into the twisted half lunge. And if you want to, you can lift the back knee to make it a little bit stronger. If we're lifting that back knee, let's straighten the back leg, keep the hips low so you feel the stretch through the buttock. Extend the fingertips up towards the ceiling. Reach higher. Good, then bring the hand down inside the front foot. Ground the back heel down and then raise the other arm up to the sky. So we're just taking it onto the other side. Look towards that hand and release. Hands down, frame the front foot, step back to plank. Lower through chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, into downward facing dog. Good. Walk your feet with little steps forward towards the hands. Keep the feet hip distance apart. Grab onto opposite elbows so we can just ragdoll here for a while. Just stretching out the hamstrings, maybe sway or rock. Take some weight into the balls of the feet so we can really turn the tailbone. Then release your arms down. Give the arms a shake, the head a shake, the hands a shake out. Shake out everything and then slowly roll up the spine into standing. Shoulders roll them back and down. Take the arms up to the sky, palms touch at the top. Exhale, forward fold. Bend both of your knees, place your left hand on the floor. Take your right hand to the sky, straighten the right leg. 
Look up towards the hand if the neck's all right for that. Take weight forward into the balls of your feet. Really turn that right butt cheek up towards the ceiling. And release, soften both knees, bring the right hand down. Take the left hand up, straighten the left leg. Good, again, taking the weight forward, turning the left foot cheek upwards. Reach and extend those fingertips. Exhale, release, hands down. Round them on the mat, step back into plank. Let's hold a nice strong plank for a few breaths. So push up through the shoulder blades. Strong core, push your heels to the back of the room. Big inhale, exhale, and hips lift, heels go down, downward facing dog. Inhale, forward to plank. Lower to chaturanga. Push back up to plank. Push back to downward facing dog. Use your knees if you need to. Come forward to plank. Lower to chaturanga. Push back up to plank. Push back, downward facing. One more, forward to plank. Lower to Chaturanga, push back up and push back. Awesome, well done. Come forward to plank. This time we're lowering down all the way to the mat. So lower for five, four, three, two, and lay down. Well done. Untuck your toes. Bring your hands so that they're level with the chest area. Squeeze the elbows in nice and tight. Have a gap between the feet. As you inhale, so no pressure in the hands for the first one. Just squeeze the shoulder blades, lift the chest. A little bit of a back bend. Just no pressure into the hands. Feet are staying down on the floor. And just breathing here, engage the tummy. Exhale, lower down. Climb back a touch further. And then inhale, lift up a little bit higher. Only go as high as you feel comfortable. So working towards your cobra position. Keep the feet down on the floor. Exhale, lower. Hands move back a tiny bit more and then lift up into full cobra if that's an option for you. If not, stay with the smaller versions and just shine the heart space forward. If you want to, you can start taking your gaze up towards the ceiling. Now push down through the top of the feet. Try and get your knees off the floor. So activate those legs. Engage the tummy. Breathe in here. And out. Nice. Big deep breath in. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips, move it all the way back into downward facing dog. Good, just pedal the legs, settle into your down dog, feel the foundations of this posture. So those four points of contact, equal pressure pushing into the mat. Making that lovely inverted V shape. So turn your tailbone, drive your heels down to the floor. And on your inhalation, let's lift the left leg into the air. Left leg lift. Bring it forward, step it between the hands. Lovely, pop the back heel down on the diagonal. So we're coming up into warrior one. So hips and shoulders are forward. Bend deep into that front knee. So just make sure your hips are square towards the front of the room, reach up high. As you exhale, bring the chest forward, reach the arms back. And then inhale, raise it back up again. Exhale, take the chest forward, reach the arms back. Inhale, raise it back up. Wow, One more, bring the chest forward, take the arms back. Now lift the heel off that back foot. <laughs> into our front foot and lift into our warrior three. So lifting that back leg up behind you. Good, hold it here. Push your heel towards the back of the room. Nice and strong. Then draw the knee into the chest. So knee's gonna come into the chest. Hold underneath the thigh with your left hand and reach your right arm towards the back of the room. So we're taking a twist here. If you want to, you can then extend that front leg forward. You might want to get hold of the outside edge of the foot and extend it forward and hold. Good, press that balance. Look towards your back hand if you can, and then let's slowly bring it all back to center so the knees in front, the hands are in prayer. Step that foot back. To the back of the mat. Inhale, arms go to the sky. High lunge position. Exhale, bring the hands down to frame the foot. Step back to plank. Take your vinyasa from here. Lower to chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing. 
or alternatively drop down onto the knees and take child's pose. You've got five breaths before we do the other side. So deep inhales and exhales, just to release off any tension you may have put into the body. Take a drink if you need one. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. In, in the beach right that's some cool as well. Okay, ready to go? Uh, Let's strong downward facing dog. Let's take the right leg up into the air for a three-legged dog. Step, bring it forward between the hands. Pop the back heel down the diagonal. Come up into your warrior one. So hips are forward. Take the feet wider if we need to, to keep the hips nice and square. Raise the arms to the sky. Relax the shoulders. Bend deep into that front knee. As you exhale, let's bring the chest forward. Reach the arms back. Inhale, raise the arms back up. And exhale, chest forward. Arms go back. Inhale, raise up. And one more, take the chest forward, arms back, lift the back heel off the floor. Keep your aeroplane arms as you transfer the weight into your right foot, lift the left leg up behind you into your warrior three. Try and keep the hips square if we can here. So that back heel is flexed, and toes are pointing down towards the floor. Then as you inhale, let's bring the knee up into the chest. So come to standing. Left knee is in front. Take hold with the right hand underneath the thigh. And then open the chest. Reach back with the left hand. And then there's your option here to straighten the, the left leg. Excuse me. Or you can get hold of the outside edge of the foot. And kick that leg forward. Just to take that balance. Hold it here. Look towards the back hand. If you can, if your balance is good today. And then bring it all back to center. So the knee is still lifted, the hands come into prayer. Step that foot all the way to the back of the mat. Raise your arms up, high lunge. Take a breath in your high lunge. And then exhale, release. Hands to the floor, step back to plank. And vinyasa from here, guys, well done. Vinyasas are always optional. If you want to just rest instead, that's fine. So five dogs, eh, five dogs, five breaths in down dog or indeed in child's pose it's up to you take those breaths make them really long well done <clears throat> big deep inhale push your heels down to the floor as you exhale turn your tailbone even higher okay let's from downward facing dog let's keep going come forward into a plank position just check where your shoulders are in relation to your fingertips Push back to downward facing. And again, bring it forward into your plank. Push it back down dog. And then forward to plank. We're going to move to side plank. So make sure the left hand is underneath the left shoulder. We're going to spin onto the outside edge of that left foot and raise the right arm up. So we can always drop the bottom knee down to the floor if we need that little bit of extra help. But raise, reach those fingertips to the ceiling and maybe look up towards it. Any variations are welcome here. If you want to do anything fancy with your legs, please feel free. Hold for another breath. And release. Push back, downward facing dog. Good, come forward to plank. Let's do the other side. Right hand underneath right shoulder. Left hand reaches up towards the ceiling. Dropping the bottom knee down as your modification if needed. Reach the fingertips high, look towards them. And keep that breath flowing. And release, hands down to the floor, push back into downward facing dog. Good, look forward, bend at the knees. Take a jump or step to the top of the mat. Halfway left. Exhale, forward fold, raise up to the ceiling with those arms, reach up. Bring the hands into prayer at heart center. Well done, take the arms up. Get some leg through the body. Now take them behind you and interlace them here. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift the chest, and then we're just going to bow the chest down to the thighs, bringing the arms up and over the head. So we're trying to take the chest to the thighs, we can soften the knees if necessary and bring the nose towards the knees, shins, 
maybe have a little rock if that feels nice wiggle through the shoulders see if those arms can come over a little bit further good take weight forward lift the tailbone going straight into chair posture so as you release your hands sit your bottom down raise your arms up sit into your imaginary seat just have a look at the knees make sure we can see the toes and then rather than sticking the bum out just tuck the tailbone under engage the tummy muscles if it's too much for the shoulders bring your hands into prayer and inhale reach up as you exhale let's sit deeper good and again breathe in let's sit deeper still come on keep sitting down find your top of the feet exhale sit your bottom down hands to the floor lift your hips wiggle out the legs well done step back plank position lower down all the way down to the mat, lay down onto your tummy, reach your arms forward, then point the toes back. Good, okay, Superman here, and raise the right arm and left leg. Lift them up and release. Raise the left arm and right leg, lift up and release. And then lift both together, both arms, both legs. Lift up and reach. And point the toes to the back of the room. Good. Breathe into the chest. Exhale and lower. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders and push yourself all the way back into your pose of a child. And let's have five breaths here. Well done. Big long breaths. Filling up the body. Exhaling out any tension, any tightness. <clears throat> have a drink if you need one. Okay, then we're going to go on to a hip opener sequence. So just do the bits that feel right for you. There's lots of optional bits. We are going to work towards pigeon posture. So if you just want to go straight to pigeon on the right side, then that's fine. Okay, so downward facing dog. We'll start there. Take the right leg, lift it into the air. Now let's bend the knee and open the hip to take your three-legged dog. So dropping the heel down towards the opposite buttons. Raise that right knee as high as you can. Ensure you still have equal pressure in your hands as you drive the left yeah. heel okay. down towards the floor. Okay, so lift that knee. Then bring your right knee towards your right elbow and touch, push it back up. Bring your knee towards your nose this time, so to the center around the spine. Push it all the way back up. Then twist it to the opposite elbow. So twist underneath the body. Push it all the way back up. Now flip to wild thing if you want to. So drop the foot behind you. Raise the hips. Raise yourself. Raise the hips up. Reach back. Good. And bring it back over again. So bring the hand back, back into your three-legged dog. We're going towards pigeon. So right knee comes behind right wrist. We lay the, foot, the leg across the top edge of the mat and extend the left leg down behind us. Keeping the hips nice and square. So maybe just bring your hands onto your hips and feel the spine here. Keep the hips down into the centre. Um, um, early exhale. Um, young, uh, you can bring your forearms to the floor or lay down completely and rest. Somebody has, somebody's got their audio turned on. <laughs> so while you're in pigeon, I'm just going to have a quick look. You're looking awesome, guys. Now I can check what you're all doing as I scroll through you all. Sorry, it's me. Have you got it? Awesome. Okay, so staying in that pigeon posture and just taking, trying not to have any tension in the upper body. So we're sinking down completely <clears throat> and relaxing, just making sure the hips are nice and square. So the focus is on the hip. And you may feel it on the outside of the hip or deep on the inside. But just breathe wherever you feel tightness to try to release it if you can. Good. Take another breath. And then bring the hands back underneath your shoulders to lift the chest. 
Bring the right hand to the center. With the left hand, reach back. Catch hold of that back foot. Pull the foot in towards the bottom. And then you can maybe reach the right arm forward. If you want to go for a mermaid variation, please do. But keeping the hips central so we're not dropping the butt cheek down to the floor. We're just keeping it nice and tall. Feel that stretch. Coming down the quad on the left leg. And then slowly release. Hands come down to the mat. Tuck the back toe under so you can push yourself back into downward facing dog. And just wiggle out the hips. Have a little move through the legs just to release that tension. Inhale, come forward to plank. Let's lower to Chaturanga. Push through into your back bend. Exhaling into downward facing dog. Let's take the left leg into the air. Three legged dog. Bend the knee, open the hip. So bring the heel to the opposite butt cheek. <clears throat> push down equally through the hands and try and push that right heel down to the floor. Good, Draw. come forward on the inhale, bringing the left knee to touch the left elbow, push it back up. And then bring it to the centre, around the spine, knee to nose, push back. And then twist to the opposite side, to so twist under the body, knee to opposite elbow. Good, push back up. And then open, so you may drop into your wild thing. Let the foot drop behind you. Raise the hips, reach up, look up where that hand is reaching so get some height with the hips here and good flip it back over so the hand comes down we're back into our three-legged dog then the left knee can come behind the left wrist the lower leg goes across the top edge of the mat and the right leg extends out behind you make sure those hips are square <clears throat> so bring the hands onto them and you can feel the squareness of the hips. So we don't want to be dropping one butt cheek down more than the other. Feel the squareness of the hips. And then you can stay upright if you want or lower down. Carefully lower down, either onto forearms or lay down completely. Bringing your forehead down to the mat. And just sinking, releasing. Allowing tension to come out of the body. Let the shoulders, the neck be relaxed. Breathe into that hip space. That back leg might be able to go back a little bit further. Might just go a touch further back so we can get deeper. <clears throat> Lovely. All right, two more rounds of breath here. Really make them count. Release that tension. After the second round of breath, bring the hands back so they're underneath the shoulders. Bring the left hand to the center. And then with the right hand, reach back and catch hold of that foot. And pull the foot in towards the body. <clears throat> you might want to go for a mermaid if that's part of your practice. If it isn't, you can just try to extend that front arm forward to take your balance. You may just need to hold on to the mat, that's fine. Do what works best for you. Feel that stretch going down the front of this quad muscle. Keep the chest open, really sink into those hips and carefully release that foot. Tuck the toes under at the back, hands are at the top of the mat. Push it back into downward facing, good. Walk and pedal out those legs. <clears throat> Inhale, bring it forward to plank. Let's vinyasa here, lower through chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. And then all the way back into downward facing. And then looking at where your hands are, move your hands so you're shortening your down dog. So you've got mat space in front of your hands. We're going to jump the feet either side of those hands to bring ourselves into our yogic squat. So the hands are in prayer at heart center. The elbows are pushing the knees wide. Try and get your heels down if you can. So you have a little wiggle. But lift the chest, lengthen up through the spine, drop the bottom down. If this is too easy for you, just raise the bum up slightly, but keep the back nice and straight. 
you raise the bum up, it just makes you work a little bit harder. Breathe here. <clears throat> and then an optional Bakasana, so hands come down, spread the fingers out wide. Lift the knees up onto the back of the triceps, and then look forward and lean forward as you raise. You might just put the weight into the hands and keep the feet on the floor, but you might want to try and lift your heels up towards your bottom and take that arm balance. Have a play around with it. Nice guys. Have a go. Have a couple of goes. <clears throat> if we're not really into it today, just stay in your yogic squat and push those knees out to the side. And then for everybody, we are just going to drop down onto our bums and come in seated. So bring yourself to your mat. Give your knees a bit of a squeeze in. Come up onto your toes and then lift those legs up. Oops. So they're parallel to the floor. <clears throat> Hold on to the back of the thighs or you might want to extend the arms forward. It's up to you where you want to take it. But lengthen the spine, lift the chest into your half boat posture. <clears throat> okay, big deep breath into the chest. As you exhale, take your arms to the left, your knees to the right. Then bring it back to centre. Then twist the other way. So inhale to centre. Exhale, twist. So opposite way. Inhale to centre and twist. Inhale to centre and then twist. Good. You can add some jazz hands if you want. Inhale to centre and twist. Inhale to centre and twist. One more. Hopefully we've done the same amount on each side. Bring it back to centre. Lift up. Exhale. Low boat. Inhale. High boat. Exhale. Low boat. Inhale. High boat. And low. We've got one more. Inhale. Lift up. And exhale. Lower all the way down to lay down. Well done. Oh, release off. Bring your knees into your, into your chest. Give yourself a well-deserved hug. And have a little rock from side to side here. Take your legs up towards the ceiling. Flex the feet. Just hold on to the back of the thighs to give yourself a bit of support. And have a little point of flex of the feet, so the ankles. Make sure we go both directions. Releasing any clicks out of those joints. And then taking hold inside the thighs, take the legs wide into straddle, always leave with your heels. So take them out wide. Have a little rock if you want to, from side to side, to stretch out the groin area. And then inhale, bring them back to center. Place your feet on the floor so your heels are in towards your bottom. Arms are down by your side. Your feet you want to be hip distance. We're going towards our round of three back bends. So tilt the pelvis, lift the hips slowly up towards the ceiling into your first back bend. So you might just want to stay with a simple bridge. Stay here. The hands can always come underneath the bottom to support. Or you can roll your shoulders under and interlace your hands underneath you if you prefer. So just lifting those hips, making sure you've got space between chin and chest. And then exhale, hands come out of the way and we slowly roll down. Good, that was number one. Take a round of breath here. So inhaling and exhaling. Then let's go for number two, tilt the pelvis, lift the hips up. Coming into your second bridge, staying with the easy option if it feels better. Maybe rolling the shoulders under and interlacing the hands underneath you. And then let's try with a leg lift. Take the weight into your left foot as you raise your right leg into the air. Keep those hips nice and high. Bring the foot down and swap over. Take the other leg up. Keep the hips lifted. And bring the foot down. Release the hands out from underneath you. Roll the spine down to the floor. Good. Have a little rock of the knees from side to side here. And then we've got one more back then. Take it as deep as you wish. If you want to go wheel, just be mindful of your neck and your back as you lift and as you lower, please. Okay, so bringing the feet in, lifting the hips up. So bridge option. If you want to go wheel, bring the hands next to your ears. So the fingertips point to your shoulders, then lift up onto the top of the head for a half wheel. Or all the way up for a full one. I'm not going to stay there too long, just can't talk in that position. If you are there, just keep the breath nice and long, whichever position you're in. 
Keep the breath nice and long. Really breathe into your heart space. It is a heart opener. So really focus the breath to the heart. Come down whenever you are ready. Come down mindfully, slowly rolling the spine back down to the mat. Good, and then bring the knees into the chest. Give yourself a little hug. Well done. Nice, have a rock from side to side. Cross the feet over, get hold of the feet, and then just rock yourself forward and back to massage your spine. And we're coming up into a seated position, cross-legged. And from here, we're just going to fold forward. So round the spine. We're just releasing off the back leg. So let the spine round, let the head drop down. And just breathe into the back body to release out that back bend. Lovely, well done. Okay guys, you've got an inversion to give me, so wherever you want to go, whether it's a headstand, a handstand, a shoulder stand, or just lay down and put your legs in the air in a waterfall position, please feel free to do whatever feels right. I can see everybody doing lots of different things, it's awesome. We've got handstanders in the house, we've got headstanders, we've got shoulder standers, awesome. Just get your legs up in the air. If we can, we want to be holding it for about 10 breaths. So if you're unsure, then waterfall is a great option. Just lay on your back, put your legs into the air. You can pop your hands underneath your bottom, just to give yourself a bit of support if need be. Or maybe your shoulders stand today. This is, the, this is the part of the practice that you can listen to your inner child and you can really just go wherever you want to, especially when you're in the comfort of your own home because nobody else can see you unless you're practicing with somebody else. But it's your time, it's your practice. So do whatever you want to do today. And if you fall, you fall. It's all good. Nice, these are looking awesome everyone. So holding just for another 10 seconds or so and then come down slowly when you're ready. Slowly bringing yourself back down to the mat. We'll lay back on our backs and hug our knees into our chest. Taking the arms out into a crucifix shape. And then if you drop your knees over to one side, keeping your shoulders down, so we get through the stretch through the side body. Turn your head to the opposite direction, in the opposite direction to your knees. Good, and then bring it back through centre. Let's take the knees to the other side. Keep the shoulders down, remember. And then inhale, let's raise it back to centre. Place your feet on the floor, slide them away from you, or just knock the knees together if the lower back isn't great. Make sure the palms are facing up. Find a comfortable position that you're going to be in for the next minute or two, and just release yourself to the ground. Surrender completely, close your eyes. And just finding your breath. So we're not forcing it anymore, we're just allowing it to flow. Find your breath. Just tune in to the physical body. Releasing any tension that you're holding on to, releasing anything that you're holding on to, whether it's thoughts, feelings, emotions, anything, just let it go. This is your time for physical and mental stillness.
staying exactly where you are. I just want you to be aware of how you're feeling right now. So be aware, aware of those feelings. So just really connect with how your body feels and how it's in contact with the earth. So which parts of you are in contact with the ground? And maybe the different pressures going through those different parts of the body. So which parts have stronger contact than others? And also noticing the, what you can feel right now. So the earth beneath you, but also what else can you feel? Maybe the, the clothes on your skin. The air as you inhale, coming in through the nostrils. What emotions can you feel? Just be aware of it all. Whatever you can feel this morning. Maybe there's a draft coming in from a door near you. Maybe you've got heat from underfloor heating. Whatever it is, just be aware of it. <clears throat> so don't try to change anything. So if you have got feelings and emotions that are arising for you, don't try to change them. Just acknowledge them and, then, and be with them. couple of rounds of breath here, a few more moments in Shavasana. And then I invite you to slowly reawaken the body with small movements. Fingers, toes, perhaps maybe taking a stretch overhead. <clears throat> Just reawakening the physical body. Give yourself a hug, maybe roll over onto your right side to come out of your Shavasana. When you're ready, we'll join back in a seated position to face. Face forwards again. And then everybody, let's take a big inhale, reach up. Lift up the arms towards the ceiling. Exhale, bring that energy into your heart center. Bring it in. Remember your intention, your focus, your dedication that you set when you first arrived on your mat. Give love to all those other yogis who have joined you today virtually. What an awesome opportunity to guide you through your practice this morning. I thank you all for joining me. Namaste. Thank you, everybody. Big love. Oh, I can't do it. There we go. <laughs>